The maturation process for Iverson and Martin has been uh, really, really tremendous. Uh, they've both done a, done a really good job uh, showing leadership, uh, both on and off the court. Uh, and you've really seen them both grow. Uh, we'll talk about Iverson first. He's a junior, and, and Iverson's done a really good job, uh, like I said, not only as, as, as being a leader, but, but on the court. He's, he's really uh, gotten everybody's attention with that. He's the most vocal guy every single day, whether it's in the weight room, whether it's on the basketball court, uh, making sure guys uh, know where they're supposed to be. Uh, it's really been fun to watch. Uh, I'm excited about the year for Iverson. Uh, he's put a lot of time and effort in, in the offseason, and, and I think he's going to have a really good year for us. Uh, in regards to Martin, Martin's, uh, he had a great offseason, obviously having a chance to play with the national team, uh, getting good minutes with them, playing against NBA players, and, and you just saw a more confident Martin come when he came back. Uh, he's explosive. His ability to get in the paint and score and finish uh, with either hand, his ability to make the right decisions, he's really going to be a go-to guy for us. Uh, you tr he's, yeah, he has the trust factor as well. Uh, you trust what he's going to do out there and he's going to do it to the best of his ability. So it's really exciting. Both those guys have done a really good job. Um, you mentioned a few, you know, a few newcomers as well. Akeem Santil in that backcourt. Uh, he's a little bit different than both those guys. But he's really talented using a ball screen. Um, he's he's like some of our guys uh, in the past. The Jay Tony Wissett comes to mind, uh, just with his ability to get to the rim, uh, to make decisions. Uh, he's really hard to keep in front. He gets fouled. Uh, he's he's an exciting player, and I think you'll see that coming uh, into the beginning of the season. And Raul, you know, I I don't mention him with the with the the, the point guard, so to speak, or combo guards, because he's he's more of a true two. Uh, his ability to make shots has been exciting uh, in practice. Uh, he's a wonderful kid. He's zero maintenance. He's a kid that we've uh, been really, really excited about since the beginning of the year. Uh, he, he's just done a great job. You, you tell him something, he listens, he tries to perform it. Uh, so uh, he's got a really bright future. Um, you know, he's got to get the experience, obviously, of college basketball on the grind of the, da the daily, you know, uh, practice schedule, strength and conditioning classes. So, so, you know, he has his ups and downs that way, uh, but he's, he's a talented kid that can really get his own shot off and also uh, score from, from three-point line. And, you know, uh, to, to start with Joe Wilson, to bring him up, he had to play out of position last year, uh, so to speak. I mean, we ended up playing a lot of four-guard lineups, but uh, he got great experience because of that. Uh, he's a very athletic, strong, physical guard, uh, and now he can come back since we have some more depth in the front court and play that wing position where he's more natural at. Uh, you know, he's, he's kind of... Uh, uh, a little bit of a junkyard dog. He's got a, he's got a good ability to, 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 to rebound the basketball with his physical presence and his athleticism. Uh, you know, he can attack the basket. He handles the ball well. Uh, and he's a, he has the potential to be a great defender in this league. So uh, excited about Joel Hernandez. Uh, the Twins, um, they're our t my two best shooters. They, they, that's what they do. They can, they can shoot um, the ball from anywhere on the court. Uh, Trevin has been injured uh, since July. He had a meniscus tear that he's just getting back with us. So uh, excited to get him back on the basketball court. Uh, Trevon has had his ups and downs with injuries in the fall as well. So, um, but both of those guys uh, are, are wonderful kids and uh, have the right mindset. Uh, when they get on a court, I want them to be really aggressive shooting the basketball. Last year, we, you know, we, we just didn't have the size. Obviously, that was Nur's first year. Uh, Glenn had, was constantly injured throughout the season, so we never really got to see, uh, you know, the, a healthy Glenn. Um, so that was really it. Landon Atterbury was a kid that was kind of a combo forward, but but now we have some true depth in the front court. Um, Nura, obviously, we'll start with him. He he's he's uh, um, had a chance to get a lot of really good experience last year. Uh, now he comes in, and hopefully it helps him with his foul issues. That was the biggest thing with him uh, last year. Uh, and now with some new rule changes, it's going to be even more difficult for him. He's such a physical guy. He's hard to officiate. I've heard that many, many times about him because of his physicality and because of how aggressive he is. Um, I don't really want to take that away from him 
because it's such a it's such a bonus. He gets fouled. Um, he can really post up. He's expanded his game where he can drive it a little bit from the perimeter as well and, and make that 15-footer. Uh, excited about his ability, obviously, and, and think he's going to have a really, really breakout year. Uh, Glenn Fidenga, now as b being healthy, he's, he's come in. He's a, he's, a, he's a glue guy. You know, he knows what I want. He's tough. He's physical. He rebounds on both backboards. He's a good defender, uh, so he's he's great to have in the program. And then then as you mentioned, Jerome Frank. He's he, he's a talented kid. He played a, a lot of minutes for two years at Florida International. He came in last year a lot of times in practice. He was our best player. Uh, he's very versatile. Uh, he can step out and shoot. He can uh, he can play with his back to the basket. He's a great passer. Um, he's got a really good feel for the game. Uh, he doesn't try and do too much. Uh, he, he fits into the team mold. Uh, he's also a good defender as well. Uh, has a great body and, and, and can rebound the basketball. So uh, that all being said, you know he hasn't played in in, in almost, you know, almost a, you know a year and a half. So uh, we'll we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully the rust and the the excitement or uh, nervous factor doesn't uh, uh, get him early on in the year. But but uh, but he's a talented kid. Really really excited to have. Him. Yeah, Ju Julius has really kind of established himself. Uh, he, he's an older fre freshman coming from, from Europe, uh, Amsterdam. He, he's, he's a really, really talented kid. He's legit 6'8". He's physical, about 225, uh, but plays like a guard. He's going to play some guard for us as well. He'll play the wing. He'll, he'll play uh, some forward as well. Um, he can shoot the basketball. He can drive it. He can pass it. Uh, and he plays really, really hard. Uh, you know, I think the, the, the difference between Europe and uh, uh, U.S. basketball, th there are definitely adjustments for him. Um, it's a quicker game, uh, not as many big guys on the court. As, so, so he, so he says. Uh, but he's shown that that he's he's ready. And uh, the first two scrimmages he did really well, and I think he's gonna he's gonna have a good role for us this year, and and really excited about. Him. So G is uh, um, he's been injured probably about the last three weeks. He had a high ankle sprain, so uh, he's just starting to get back uh, with us now. But early on, you could tell he affects the game on the defensive end. He can really uh, bother shots around the rim. Uh, he runs the floor well, uh, and you know he's a work in progress on the offensive end. Uh, but every once in a while, you see, oh wow, look at that play, um, and he can also obviously offensive rebound. So uh, G's done a really good job for us. Uh, and then Quay. Quay is, is a kid that, that uh, can really pass the ball. Um, he, that's one of his best qualities, obviously, uh, with his size and length. He can uh, rebound and he can run the floor well. Um, he's got to put on pounds. He's going against some big, strong guys every single day. So uh, it's difficult for him, but, but he keeps coming every single day. And we, we knew that that was going to help him um, throughout this season and moving on. Uh, the kid has a bright future. Um, as long as he keeps going at it the way he's going at it, he's going to be a good player for us. I knew we were going to need to have some patience. Uh, yes, you want to win every game. But I, and I told the guys before last year, throughout the year, that it would, there were going to be ups and downs. And I think, again, we, they did. We gained a, a ton of experience with a lot of guys. Uh, and they learned how to lose. They learned how to win some close games. Uh, obviously, like you said, making the tournament, uh, where you come one game away from being fifth, eighth, whatever, who, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You got a chance to go up against St. Francis and play in that kind of environment. Uh, it makes you hungry. And I think it made our guys hungry over the off season. Guys did a really good job, uh, you know, when they went home, came, came back in the, in the fall and have really, really worked hard. Uh, they've done a good job. Uh, I think you, you've seen, or I've seen, uh, a much more consistent team. Uh, and that's really going to be it. If we can be consistent and we sustain that, we add the few pieces, the junior college kid, Nakeem Santiel and, and Jerome Frank, um, and you'll see a, a much more consistent team. This is going to just tell us where, you know, who's going to get the minutes. I don't know right now. I want to, I want to see different lineups, see guys in different situations. Uh, we have a difficult schedule, but it's, it's a schedule where we're, we're going to be able to challenge ourselves and, and also, you know, hopefully uh, have some success as well. Um, I, we're going to see. I mean, I, th I think the next two months will tell a lot, and hopefully we'll figure those things out, get guys in the right positions and uh, right spots, right time, and, and uh, we'll be ready for conference come January.